Hello and welcome to the first preview of upcoming particle features. In the last few weeks I've basically rewritten the whole Boyd system and in this first video I'll give a short introduction to the new system. So let's first add a new particle system to the default cube and set the lifetime to say 1000 and the amount to 100. Now I have a basic void mesh on layer 2. So let's apply that to the particles. The particles are quite big by default, so let's reduce the size to something more manageable. And no, we don't have to worry about bake settings since we're using the continue physics option. So now we can change the physics type to voids and let's see what we have. Nothing too interesting yet. And that's because in the new system the voids have no rules by default. So let's first add the separate rule, which makes the voids not want to be too close to each other. Now I see something strange going on. The voids basically look like they're going to die or something. And that's because we haven't defined any gravity. And the voids should always have some gravity so that they know how to align themselves. So let's set the, the gravity to something negative. And now we see that the void starts aligning properly. Next, let's add the flocking rule, which makes voids want to move in groups and have similar velo velocities to their neighbors. So now we have some nice movement. But there's really no way to control the voids. So let's make them follow a goal. And we'll do that by adding an empty, for example, and setting it to have a spherical field of negative str strength. Now this is the opposite from the old voids, where goal had to be positive in strength. I changed the behavior so that now the voids react similarly to normal particles. And as we can see, the voids aren't yet following the goal because we haven't defined the rule for them to do so. So let's add that now. But still, the voids don't seem to react to the goal. And that's because the order of the rules is very important. They're evaluated from top to bottom, and currently the voids want to separate and flock far more than to follow the goal. So let's change that by moving the goal rule one position upwards. Great, now we have some nice controllable voids. And that's all for this time, thanks for watching. Next time I'll try to get to the actual new and cool stuff. And if you have some comments or ideas, please comment on this video's post on my blog.